Hi guys, in today's video I thought I would film my head of Eleven's cage door. So they live in a CNC cage, but I didn't have any chloroplast for most of this cage, so I did just generally use some um, tarpaulin just to line the cage and protect my carpet. So yeah, so their cage is huge. Excuse the mess in this room, but yeah, their cage is a pretty decent size. So yeah, let's begin with the tour. So in this herd, we have 10 females and one neutered male. My neutered boar is just over there on that, um, in that food dish. He, his name is Ollie and he's about a year old and he has 10 little babies. So in this cage, they have two large lister trays. The first lister tray is just over here. It is a fair plus 120 cage. Now the litter in this cage is wool-based cat litter, which is completely safe for guinea pigs as if they digest it, it just basically breaks down in their stomach. They have two types of hay. They have the um, B and M Timothy hay, which isn't very great Timothy hay. It's just yeah, cheap Timothy hay, but it's something nice extra for them. And that's just in the hay rack, which is just a flower hanging basket. But actually, in the litter tray, it is mound full of farm hay that I get from a local farm, scattered with some um Timothy hay, which I get from which I get shipped, which is Oxford Timothy hay. So yeah, there is Ollie just there next to um. So yeah, so just over there we have two pets at home igloos and these are in the large size which is supposed to be suitable for rabbits but very clearly they are not suitable for rabbits. Then I have a large wooden bendy bridge which I absolutely love and just on the outside we have one medium bottle here, one large bottle there, one large bottle there and then one large bottle over there. They do have more, I just for some reason have put them down whilst I've been making the cage large and I cannot find them. So just stepping into the cage, they have another large um, pet home igloo. They have a chew. Um, I believe this is a willow twist. My guinea pigs absolutely love willow. And then just over there, we have one of their food dishes. So tonight, night time is actually our pellet time. So my guinea pigs get fed three times a day. They have two vegetable meals. They have one in the morning, one in the evening. And then just before I go to bed, they have their pellets. I don't believe in giving unlimited pellets. I think pellets to us are quite unnecessary, but with me having large heads, for like my more submissive guinea pigs, such as Dora over there, they are really, really good for her because it just ensures she gets all her nutrition because obviously a feeding veg to a large herd, you can't actually guarantee that they're getting everything they need. So that is that. And then they are fed on the science selected guinea pig nuggets mixed with some dried forage. And then just here we have two igloos. We have one large salic one and one um, pets at home one. And then just here they have a plastic igloo, two more dishes that is a dog dish that they can all fit under. And then that's just general guinea mason cash one. They have some more cheese under here. They have some apple sticks, a very, very destroyed um, chew tube, another bendy bridge, same size as the other one. And then they have another food dish over there. I do like to give them a lot of food dishes just because I don't want them to fight over them and argue. So yeah, let me just have a very small Savic, um, no, a KT igloo, I think, which they all really, really love the small ones. And then just next to that, they have a, a another Pet's Home Lodge igloo. And then just over there, they have their castle, which I need to get them a new one actually, because it's really, really old. And then just over here, we actually have a Fair Plus 100 cage base which it surprises me that people think these are still suitable to actually keep them in as cages i had my pet sitter come when i went to, on holiday and she asked me was that the kind of cage and i looked at her and said no that's just where they pee so again they have um whoopie scratch on the bottom absolutely packed with some farm hay because face hay should consist of 80% to 85% of the diet. My pigs is around about 85%. So they only have 5% nuggets and then they have 10% veg. So with vegetables, I weigh it. So for example, each pig in this head is roughly a kilogram, give or take. So for this, they will have 500 grams in the morning, or sorry, 550 grams in the morning, 550 grams of veg in the evening. And then just next to that, they have a small um, Katie um, igloo. And then they then have a willow ball from pets at home. So here is just the head. So just here we have Pippin. We have my foster girl that I decided to keep. Um, and then, yeah, we just have everybody. So yeah, it's nice when they've just been cleaned because everyone is just quite chill with exploring. 
this extension bit was really nice for them because I wanted to give them another litter tray because I just thought it's just sitting in my shed and why not? So yeah, I just thought I'd give them them. Okay, well, I just have a nice old munch. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this cage top. Please comment, like, and subscribe. These guys do actually normally have a lot more wooden toys than this. They are just in their runs at the moment. So that is why they have these inside. And then the wooden nice ones are just more in their runs. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.